This is Mech 23B, and we're talking about engine measurement, and we're going to start on the engine bottom end. So, first thing we're going to look at is the main bearing journal. If we look at a picture of our crankshaft over here on the, on the left, our main bearing journals are the ones where uh, that hold the crankshaft into the engine. So we've got one right here, two, three. On this engine, we have five of them. And so it says we want to measure diameter 1 and diameter 2. So we're just going to measure from one side to the other. And then if we were to look at the end of it, and we would see a circle, we're going to measure here to here. And then again, we're going to measure across like that. We're measuring it twice. That gives us a better chance of getting the exact right number. We want to make sure they're not worn oblong. And also we're going to check taper. So you're going to have a number in these spaces, but here you're just going to have a yes or no. And the way we check taper is we put the micrometer around one side, and then we slide it in that direction. We're going to start here and move it in that direction. If it gets loose or if it gets tight and you can't slide it, then it has taper. In other words, the crankshaft journal isn't parallel like that it's tapered. Good, the next thing we're going to look at is the main bearing bore. The main bearing bore is where the main bearing journals fit into the engine. So what you'll do is you'll have the bottom of the engine like that and this will be the structure of a cylinder block and then you'll have the main bearing cap right there. The main bearing cap needs to be attached with the bolts and torqued to specifications. You put it on, you torque it to specifications and then you're going to measure two places. You're going to measure across there and you're going to measure across there using a telescoping gauge two diameters, diameter one, diameter two. And then we need to figure out the main bearing clearance. The different, the clearance is a calculated clearance. So what you need to do is take the smallest of the main bearing journals and the largest of the main bearing bores, subtract the two, and then you write it in this space here. A plastic gauge is on another video and you can watch that one specifically. 